Hello, Birdman here. Welcome back to another episode of Elder Scrolls 3 Morrowind. Okay, so last time we got sent by Master Nailoff to recover the robe of Drake's pride from Sinise Findo. I'm guessing it's. I'm guessing it's a mistype of this one. I think this is S I N I, as this is S E N I. I'm guessing it. Either it's a typo or this is a completely wrong person. The only trouble is, while I won't get expelled, if I attack anyone, then the other people who are nearby will fight as well. So I'll deal with that. Not only that person, but the person next to them, and I believe this person will probably join in as well. Go ahead, Outlander. Not a very nice thought. So I'll be three powerful Tavani mages at once. I have to get my magic up, get my fatigue up. I don't have my bounce spear. Poison mirror to reflect some of the magic back at them. There's no point in having that. Cause I think as far as I know, I think shield's only physical defense, not magic defense. Right, this person. <laughs> I said this person joining as well. But thanks to the. They actually damaged my. Yeah, they actually lowered my willpower permanently until I use the thing to restore it. Wow. Good thing they did. No wonder they did so much damage then. Because willpower is your magic defense as well as fatigue. I guess there's an enemy nearby somewhere. But anyway, let's have a look. Yes, this set is definitely a mistyping because this, this person's got the robe after. Oh, it's even got a constant effect of the reflect as well. That's a, no wonder they want that robe. That's a very nice robe. So, what we got? We got a long blade with fire damage, a ring of frost damage again. You need an AoE, nice. Uh, another ring of poison AoE damage, but ranged. And a belt of giving a shield. Nice. Nice belt. Oh my god. <coughs> Invisibility, frost, burden, soul trap, frenzy, drain, agility, store health. Quite a few store healths. Fortify stats, shock damage, tele telekinesis. We call light for so you got various shields, rallies, calms, detect, shield, detect, levitate. That is a lot of scrolls that I can't carry. I'll give us some of this common stuff because they're not as good. Extravagant. I'll just get then. I got a spell absorption robe. You have to cast robe. You have to cast it. 
a healing bell, it's nice. But again, you have to cast it. How many times can I that? Can we use... About seven times. Then it needs to charge up, but it's only got 15 charges, that won't even take long. Bow of Sanguine, that's gonna be one that should be one of the artifacts, that's a nice one. Don't get one these are junk. Apparently someone's still nearby. Ooh, oh, yeah, it's a lock chest. Um There's apparently someone there, but I can't see him anywhere though. Get away from me. Hmm? Oh, it's... That's why they don't they don't jump down floors or anything. If an, if an NPC can't get to you by normal safe means, they won't go to do it. Blah, 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 blah. Got a lot of disease curing stuff, which is nice. Store health, some junk restoring stuff. I have a way to get into rid of that again. Another lock hundred chest. <laughs> Ignore him and just go. But they, they can't go through doors or anything, so I'm safe in that respect. <coughs> mm. What? What? Um. I did actually get a bounty for that. Oh. Um. Well, that makes things awkward. Throws it from here to Aldrun, no to Sadrif Moor, sorry. And not only that, I need to make it all the way to the Mage's Guild, hope that they let me teleport to Balmor, storm of stuff, then I'll spend time in jail. I'm quite surprised that I got bounty for that. Because you're allowed to kill each other in Tavani. It's a bit of a strange one. Can't use magic in water.
still one shot it. And that one's nice. I need moon shadow for this. <laughs> oh, they see me already. I just need to make it to my house in Balmore, stash my stuff, then I don't care about going to jail. I just need to stash all my loot first, I'm not losing them. And it should be, yeah, I mean, Shadow's ready again. This is the last time I need to use it, just as soon as I exit, use it, and I'll be able to make it to my house. I'm very happy to make it. <laughs> you noir. Okay, we're back again. And I couldn't actually remember which of my stuff was stolen, so um Oh my god. Yeah that hit me quite hard. Twenty days. That has lowered a lot of my stats. But on the bright side it means I can level up more. <laughs> but yeah, I couldn't remember what well it's I mean yeah, the full outside so it's not far to travel, but I can't remember what it was got stolen, so I kind of unequipped everything apart from my chitin spear. Someone with your good needs more yeah, you see, they're insane now. I've got no clothing. <laughs> so, yeah, let's head back to Balmore and get my stuff. Quite fun, actually. Obviously, because there's less weight, you can actually travel faster if you're carrying less. We should have no bounty now. Not zero bounty, so we're good to pick up our stuff.
Right, so once again I'm going to cut it, so once again, see you in a minute. Okay, I think we're looking at a decent set of gear now. I've got my dart drinker. I'm going to put my short bow, I know it's not meant to, but I'm going to put that somewhere separate. So I'm almost positive that it's one of the sanguine relic things, which is for a quest later on. So for now, go with my lighting. <laughs> Just keep it separate. Right, I'm actually going to... I thought I'd give it a try at enchanting. Let's see what soul's got decent value. 200 or 200s. Let's look for normal cliff race because there's loads of them around. So that's a warrior yeah, there, 300. Gigalty 200, Elite 200. Cliff race 200. They're all 100s. So we'll leave them. Actually, no, where's that diseased one? I don't want to use my diseased ones. Just because they're rarer to find. Yeah, I'll have the rest. And we'll take out some junk weapons to practice on. Um, Chicken Spear. take a couple of chisel daggers. Alright, so you get the soul gem you want, we'll start off with the 80 value once it's the lowest. Make enchanted. So your actual items got enchantment into so this this soul gem because it's value 80, it's only got a 8 charge. But depending on your weapon as well will change what you can have. So chit and spear it's only got enchantment value of 2 max. Where's my Steel Howard? 5 max. It's still not a great deal, but it makes difference. Let's go for the Chitin Dagger first. That's, the Dagger's only got one value. Let's have a look what we can do. We do on strike. The Prolus is just for one second, you need a, at least enchantment of three. That's for one second. So, five shock damage. That's enchant. Yeah. So, yeah, so cast exchange here when used or when strikes. We'll have it on strike, so every time you hit it, does it? Enchantment is max enchantment you can have. It costs one charge per attack, but it's got eight charges, it can do it eight times. Great. The failed. And that is based on my enchanting skill. Isn't there? So yeah, skilled enchanters are more successful, and also they're more efficient as well. So yeah, so we'll try with another one. We'll go for rat. So uh, making enchantment. See, so yeah, this one's got a charge of ten instead of eight. Go for chit and spear. So that's got a value of two, so it's got more. Mm. Go for shock again. Well, first one strikes. Shock. Very awkward to get the move warm. Oh, that's an eight damage. Eight damage of shock. The enchantment increased as well, and successful. So now we have a chitin sphere that has a charge of tenders, eight shock damage. 
It's a nice little to be able to hurt a ghost. Alright, so we'll keep going through and do a few more. Right, a lit soul this time. We've got two of them. This got charged with 20. So we'll go on one of our cheating daggers. I actually need, I was meaning to get a um, fortify skill for putting some armor. It's like fortify my, say, short blade skill, then it'll be easy for me to use it, or fortify agility. I'll go with absorb health. I know this you don't get much at all. You have a two points. That's one use where I've changed one strikes. Where's the store? There we go, we get two HP back when we hit him. Weird random names because it failed again. Let's try again to absorb health again. No, that's not that's not health. So put tag one first. Chicken dagger, absorb health. Well, when you fail, you only lose the um, thing as well. You only lose the soul gem. You don't lose the weapon. Again, like a gouty soul, same enchantment again. Really fiddly to it, right? Oh, that's cute, chicken dagger. Right, Skeletal Warrior, we'll try that one on our halberd. See how that goes. Probably not very well, but we'll try it. So that's got enchantments of 5 max. There's seven health for two seconds. And that failed as well. Darn it. So you can tell my enchant skills are really bad. I'll go to Tristan again. We'll go for something more basic then, like. Ooh, poison. Poison one or two damage for two seconds. Failed. Well, we got one enchantment done. So now this spear, well, it's weak still, but at least I can use it for certain enemies. Let's try the Guar then. It's 400 value, so it's got a bit more oomph. Let's see, we'll go for the poison again. Actually, we'll go for shock. Let's 
16 or 17 damage. Oh, failed again. But yeah, you don't you don't gain your skill if it fails. You only gain skill if it actually succeeds. But yeah. So anyway, we should head go to the Mage's Guild and get them to teleport us back to, I'm very happy to make that place. Oh, that I forgot its name for some reason. Cedric Moor, That's it. And we've got our levitate potion. Wait, no way. <gasps> Are you serious? We can't actually identify what potions do. That is interesting. We can't... we don't know what potions do. Hmm. Have you any news? There we go, now we can. So it looks like you need at least fifteen alchemy to see the first see what potions can do. What that's random. I'm also nearly broke now. Right, so anyway, let's get on to the place I cannot remember the name of. My master nail offers. Oh yeah, that's one thing I was meant to try and make an amulet of slow falling. Good. I also need to get the slow fall spell. I think you might be able to get it in Cedar Neen, the starting town. I think you might be able to get a s slowful spell there. But once you have the spell, you're then able to enchant stuff with that spell. Which you need to cast when used, amulet of slowful for one second. Even though it doesn't look like it does, it should still interrupt the full distance, even though it looks like you're still falling normal speed. But it should be enough to halt the damage. I hope. I can never find myself through these places. I always get lost reason. Oh, that's two exits, so yeah, I've got to go up there. I'm going to have to use some of my levitate potions. Outlander or go away. <sighs> I thought I was going to fall down then. That 
Here it is. <laughs> what? Were you expelled for getting me this robe? How unfortunate. I will take care of this for you. So he puts me back into the guild and gives me 10 gold. Huh. Something tells me I would better just keep in that robe, it's quite a nice robe. That was such a waste of time then. Could have just kept either not killed them and not have to worry about my stats going down, or I could have kept that robe for myself. Speak, traveller. I've done that bit early. Well, I'm going to end the episode here. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye bye.